after updating your Galaxy phone to One UI 6.1, you might notice a huge gap under the Samsung keyboard and wish to minimize it as much as possible. Let me show you how. But before I start, what I will show you will only work if you are not using voice input. You might want to stop watching if you're a regular voice input user. For the rest, let's go down to the steps. Firstly, you will need to hide the voice input or change keyboard button and the hide keyboard button. Then, you will need to hide the gesture hint. Doing so will bring down the keyboard as low as possible. Let's go to settings. General management. Keyboard list and default. Here, you can turn off keyboard button on navigation bar and show button to hide keyboard. Yes, you have now removed the voice input or the change keyboard button on the left and the hide keyboard button on the right. Please note that at this moment, hiding the voice input button will disable the voice input functionality. Next, we will need to remove the gesture hint to bring the keyboard further down. Go to Settings. Display. Navigation Bar. More Options. And turn off the Gestures Hint option. If you can't see the Gesture Hint option here, you can check out the video on how to get back the Gesture Hint option in One UI 6.1. The link is in the description. Now, let's take a look at the keyboard. Yes, as you can see, the gap under the keyboard is very minimal now. That's it for this video. I hope it helps.